All right, so I had somebody ask me how to tie a finishing knot uh, on a tennis racket while stringing it. So I'm actually stringing a racket now at the same point in time that, that I got the question. So perfect uh, timing. I'm going to show you how to tie a standard finishing knot. So uh, what I've done is I just got to my last main string on either side of the tennis racket. So I haven't pulled tension on this side yet, but I've already pulled tension on this side. So what I'm going to do is I don't have I don't have to cut this at an angle on, on this string because it's not it's not blocked. Uh, it's shared, but it's not blocked. But I always like to at least illustrate. Um, sometimes you have to cut your string at an angle to stick it through a hole that may be shared with another string. So I've already done that, and I'm going to stick it through. Okay. And I'm going to make sure my string on the outside here gets somewhat tight. And, and I, will, I will make it tighter as I tie the knot, but it's nice to go ahead, especially with a very stiff polyester string, that we go ahead and get some of that slack out. Because it doesn't look very well, and when I pop the clamp off, if it's not tight, it loosens up then at that point, and then it causes some tension reduction on the outside, which is debatable um, in terms of being not beneficial to the performance of the racket. So, uh, I have gone through only at this point. Alright, so all I'm going to do is I've gone through the string only. I'm just pulling my slack out. Okay? So I've pulled my string through. Now, I'm going to go over that string, just that one string, and under that string, and then back through that loop. So I went over the string, under it, and back through it. Very simple. Okay? So I'm going to get my hand, and I purposely cut more string or have more excess string so I can show you more with my hand instead of sticking a pair of pliers in there and, and rocking it back and forth. So I left myself with more string. I wouldn't do this if you're stringing in volume because you waste a lot of string that adds up over multiple string jobs. But I did this for video purposes only. So I get the knot and I rock that knot back and forth. Nothing, nothing too drastic but knock back and forth until I get it tight here, okay? And until I get a nice initial part of the knot. This is only step one of that knot. After I do the first over, under, and through, I do the same thing again. Over, under, and through. Now is when I'll grab my bent nose pliers, okay? Bent nose, needle nose pliers and I'll grab that knot and I'll make sure it secures. Now, if you leave yourself, make sure you tell yourself, do I have a lot of gap or space here? It's again debatable if you leave that there, but a customer may look at it and not think it looks very professional. So before I pull that, I wanna say, hmm, let me see if I can reduce the amount of space I have here. I'll go ahead and pop my clamp off you see it's already pulled it in super tight. Again, I just did that to be sure, but I'll still give it another rock or two. Okay, see it's perfectly tight. Now I get my bent nose pliers and I pull it over and in. I then get my angle cutters and then cut it down. I'm going to do it on the other side quickly, so you can see it does not take that long to do it. So I'm going to pull tension on my last main, okay, clamp it off, okay, All right, that was my second to last main, my apologies, clamp it off. My string is already cut at an angle. I'm going to go in where my grommet hole allows me to, which should be five. One, two, three, four, five. Excuse me, it's six. I'm through. Doing 
over, under, through. Rocking it back and forth. I'm going to pop my clamp to make sure I'm tight, and I am. And then I'm going to finish it with an over, under, and through. Pull with my bent nose, secured, and clip. So that is how you do a standard tie-off knot. Uh, hopefully that was okay, and I'll get this to you uh, as soon as, as I hit stop on the camera. But hey, thanks for the question. I'm glad I was right in the middle of a racket so I could answer it. So hey, 5K Tennis, click, click subscribe below, and check out our website at www.5ktennis.com. And again, that is a standard finishing knot over, under, through, twice. Alright, thanks again. See you.